different reporting tools. So first tool, which is very important uh, from a presentation point of view, is the table tool. So for table tool, you have to go to reporting tab, and from here, you have to you know select the table tool. Yeah, so it's table drag it and drop it onto your canvas it will open up a configuration panel but before that let me show you the data set which I am using right so I am using a sales set of five different companies and it's a daily data so you can see that here four columns one is order ID company name sales and date right now click on the basic table tool and it will open a configuration panel where it will ask you about you know different option like for example, first option is your group by. So for in group by your table mode, do you want to group by company, group by date, order ID, and so on? Right now, I do want to you know change this, and you can explore this um, your own. Right? You can choose a table width. Suppose let it be automatic. So this alter is basically automatically decide the width of the columns. Right here, you can choose the bar graph option. So it will create a column where it will show you the bar graph of that particular value. So this is just similar to the conditional formatting of bar done in you know Excel. From here, show column headings. From here, you can you know uh, move the column names up and down, rearrange the column as per your convenience. Right. For example, suppose I want to move date as the first column so I will just press this up arrow key then order ID then company name and then sales I can rename my fields here right and there are a couple of other options now my interest is to create a table and then apply some sort of formatting on that particular entry which I want to highlight so go to this create row rule once you click on this a pop-up window will open right here you can Write the name of the rules. So right now I'm giving it as sales rule say one or sales rule greater than twenty-five thousand. So I will want to uh, highlight all the uh, rows where the sales is greater than twenty-five thousand. When to apply? Click on when. Where from here drop down select the metric or variable name which is sales. Here you can select the operator like greater than and here you have to input the number which is say 25,000 now from the lower panel you can select the background color click on background and then background I want say green color as the row background and in text color say I want black right Just click on close and then run the workflow table but in order to create a table you can see here it is asking you to attach a browsing tool so in go to in and out these reporting tools will only work with the browse tool so just drag and drop and connect this to a browse tool and hit run again and once you click on the browse tool it will open the table like this so this is record one for these are records and all the rows where sales is greater than 25,000 has been highlighted in you know green color and you can play around with the multiple option present in the table tool i hope you like this video thank you please do subscribe to our channel